So you're interested in hiking, but you don't understand what all of the directional jargon means. Or maybe you're following someone who's hiking. Or you're interested in hiking, but not sure which trail you want to do. In 2022, I hiked the Appalachian Trail, and I did a horrible thing called a Franken flip-flop. Can't recommend it. But most of these terms can be applied to other trails as well. There are a bunch of different ways to hike not only this trail, but any other trail that you might want to hike. You're limited by your physical ability, the time you're able to start, how much time you have to actually hike, and uh, weather conditions as well. Personally, I was very concerned about cold weather. That's why I started in late March. I wanted to try and avoid all that as much as possible. And then of course, because I was so slow, I had to flip up to Katahdin, which wasn't ideal, but I did really like doing it in the middle of my hike. I was really tired by the end. I was done. I don't know if I would have had the energy to finish because a lot of hikers get up to Maine and New Hampshire, which is the hardest part. And they're like, we're out, we're done. I will say that was nice. Pennsylvania, everyone makes a big stink out of it. It was annoying. I wouldn't say it was like the worst thing ever. Personally, I think Pennsylvania was the flattest state, but that's just me. The rocks, super annoying. Not nearly annoying as New Hampshire. When I ended up having to get new shoes because New Hampshire ripped giant holes in my shoes, they were like kind of making fun of me because I hadn't been through Pennsylvania yet. Pennsylvania wasn't shit, okay? I still have the shoes that I was wearing when I entered Pennsylvania. They're still in perfectly good shape. I didn't like Pennsylvania when I was going through it because the water sources were few and far between. Um, the rocks were really annoying and slow going. They weren't that big a deal, honestly. Um, and of course the weather was bad, but overall, I don't think Pennsylvania was this big scary monster that everyone makes it out to be. Uh, personally, New Hampshire, Maine, New Hampshire especially, those, the presidential mountain range is all rock. That's what tore my shoes up. For any trails that run north to south, Nobo and Sobo are going to be the words that you want to use. Nobo is northbound and Sobo obviously is southbound. For an east and westbound hike, I couldn't actually find the word for eastbound. I'm assuming it's Ebo. Uh, and then westbound is Weebo. So pretty easy. All of the big three trails, the AT, PCT, and CDT use Nobo and Sobo. Even though, I don't know if you can really tell through this, but the trail does all kinds of like going east and going west. It's pretty straight in that section, but when I was thinking about where I wanted to start my hike, I obviously didn't want to start somewhere hard. I don't think I would have made it up Katahdin if I had started there. If you want to start at Katahdin, you're pretty hardcore, pretty ready to take on any challenge that is thrown at you. Personally, I started at Springer, uh, and I think that worked well for me. At the time, there were tons of other people starting. I was able to ask for help when I needed it. I never felt like I was alone unless I wanted to be alone. So here, I have a vertical map. It does not look good horizontally, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to do something I hate, which is have a vertical screen on YouTube. Uh, but I want you to be able to see this entire thing, and I either have to be really close to it and get some details or really far away and then you're not able to see literally anything so sorry about this here at the bottom of the map we have springer mountain and if you go all the way up we go through all the states up to maine which is the northern terminus at katahdin you have an east or west trail there will be a terminus here and over here and there are a ton of different ways to do this for my hike specifically this is going to be a mess but we started here Hiked in a general north path up into West Virginia. Then we went up to approximately the 100 mile wilderness, hiked north to Katahdin, came back to the 100 mile wilderness and hiked south to Harpers Ferry. Also skipped a little portion here and I've gone back and done most of it. So a hike this way is considered no-bo. You can go north the whole way, or you can, uh, if you do like day hikes back to a hostel or something, you can do south, but it's still considered a no-bo. A sobo starts at Katahdin, goes all the way south to Springer. I don't suggest that one at all, unless you are prepared for the hell that awaits you in Maine and New Hampshire. I hiked not quite half the trail by the time we went up there, and it was, it was very beautiful, but it was hell. The time that you're able to start is also important. I started in Springer in March. If you start in Katahdin, 
So when it starts snowing, they'll close the mountain until there's like a good snowpack. And then once it starts melting, you have to wait until it's all melted. So you can start in like June, go south. Or Aquaman started in November and went south. Uh, there's also a bunch of different flip-flops you can do. You can start at Harper's Ferry, hike north to Katahdin, go back to Harper's Ferry, and then south to Springer. The ATC has a list of uh, all of these hikes, and when they recommend them, they say mid-April to mid-May is a good start for that one. Or I consider doing this one. Start in Shenandoah, hike north, and then go back to Shenandoah and go south. Obviously, I didn't end up doing that one. They recommend an April start for that. Another one the ATC recommends is starting in Pauling, New York, which is about here, hiking north to Katahdin, and going back to Pauling and going south. They recommend a June start for that. So this is what they call a Georgia late start flip-flop. It's actually what we did, which is where you start in uh, Springer, go north to Harper's Ferry, that was all over the place, then go up to Katahdin and come back. Uh, we all started roughly in March or April, uh, ended up doing that, worked out pretty well. They recommend mid-April to early May for that. They have one called a Leapfrog, where you hike Springer up to West Virginia, and then you go to Southern New England, North Katahdin, Southern New England, back to Harpers Ferry. They recommend mid to late April for that one. They have something called a cool breeze where you hike the trail in three sections. Uh, again, a April start for this. Start in Pauling around Bear Mountain. Go southbound to about Roanoke. Then go back to New York, hike up to Katahdin. Go from Roanoke south. And then there's something they have called a southbound circuit or a wraparound. Start in Harpers Ferry, go south to Springer. And then Katahdin to Harpers Ferry. Personally, I didn't like any of Harpers Ferry. I thought it was a very anticlimactic finish. I think if I had to hike it again, I would start either in Harpers Ferry or Shenandoah and then hike north. Get Katahdin, get all the hard stuff out of the way, go back here, and then go south to Springer. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.